Next up, kiddies in County Wexford looking at a potato byproduct that has global appeal. In the heart of Wexford is Slaney Farms, a family-run business that has been farming in Wexford for 300 years and growing potatoes since the 1960s. They grow potatoes on a massive 400 acres, which equates to about 6,000 tonnes of potatoes per year. But as well as growing potatoes, they also produce gin. It did come to the stage three or four years ago where the supermarkets tightened up their spec on potatoes. So we ended up with having some potatoes that are quite misshapen, like this one, which is a little bit on the wonky side. We came up with Jackford Gin, which is made from our own potatoes on our own farm. The smalls can go into it, these knobbly ones can go into it. So it's not a waste product, it's a byproduct. This is the perfect ingredient for making gin. It's a perfect quality potato, all as wrong as the shape. Jackford's Gin has been operating for nearly five years now in Ireland, but two years ago, just as they were all set to begin exporting globally, COVID arrived. So what was the impact on Slaney Farms? We were left in a position of a flux. We weren't really sure what to do next. How long would it go on? Where were we going to get the answers from? We knew that the product that we had was really, really good. So it was the long game. So we waited patiently and all we had to do was to rely on the confidence that our product in terms of quality would be there when we got to the far side of COVID. This wasn't the end for Jackfords. COVID hit in March. We had all the crops planted, so there was no going back from that. But we let the crop go on until the following season. We stored the crop, hoping that the thing would change. And we kept our production of the gin steady and we, we actually stockpiled gin. Do you think gin sales are up post-pandemic? Yeah, I think the potential is starting to show now. Uh, people are starting to get out and about. Events have started back. And I suppose people are in a fresher frame of mind that they're willing to try things different. Uh, and we now have the opportunity to maybe get the gene out to people, uh, I suppose, which was quite difficult up until now. With all this talk of gin, I think it's only fair that I get a chance to sit down and actually enjoy a sample. But it also gives me a chance to talk to John a little more about this unique Wexford gin. Is this distilled on the farm? Just before COVID, we had uh, just started to put in a distillery, but with COVID we had to halt our plans, unfortunately, on that, but we're ready to go now, so hopefully have a distillery up and running very shortly. There's more than potato happening here. What, what well, obviously, <laughs> yeah, we, we do have a few botanicals at it, uh, mostly juniper, but we have another 10 botanicals apart from juniper. It's, mm. it's, in actual fact, you could uh, drink that gin neat if you wanted. It's, very, very, it's a lot smoother than than a gin made from barley, say, for instance. It, the fact that it's made from potatoes gives us that lot smoother taste and it's an easier swallow. When it comes to potatoes, it's not very often that you think of a gin as a byproduct, but that's exactly what Jackfords have done here. At the core of their business is a vegetable, the humble potato. And even through the devastation that COVID caused, they were able to survive by simply turning that byproduct back into a product. And now that hospitality is back open, so is the gin business. It just goes to show you the potato is more than just food. Thank you.